Well, I did it again. I bought another Focus. Three, two, one. I am sweating like a pig. Here's a sock. I just said he and then, then I she, but whatever. All I do want to kind of spruce it up, spruce it up a little bit. thinking these are the most exciting cars for content but they're cheap cars i wasn't necessarily looking for another focus but uh this one came across the auction block and it went for really cheap so i couldn't resist now this one's a little different it's not a hatchback it's a sedan but uh overall guys it's in pretty good shape i've already had it inspected uh, at the shop i take my cars to and it came out with a good bill of health. Of course, we got some work on those headlights. Those are the worst out of the uh, three focuses now that we've had. And it's got brand new tires on it, which is a big reason why I bid it on it. Because it's got some brand new, because it's got some brand new uh, Goodyear tires. So I knew I wouldn't have to put four or 500 bucks into it. It's got a little bit of hail damage. It's real light hail damage. But it does have something going for it. It's got a sunroof, so overall, it's not a bad looking car. And for the interior, the interior is uh, the interior is pretty clean. Uh, it does smell like a barn in here. <laughs> I don't know why that is. So we'll have to address that. But uh, I'm going to jump in real quick and hook up my scan tool, and I'll show you what we need to do today. I'm going to try resetting the uh, transmission control module um, or reset the adaptive learning feature on it. Uh, if you're not aware, this the Focus is, I, I don't know if all the years, I don't know if the current years are the same, but at least for like the 2012 through 14 or 15, I don't know, uh, they all have automated manual transmissions, uh, which was a... Uh, quite an issue um i know back in back in 2012 and whatnot they had quite the uh, problem with these transmissions but uh and i think most of that was due to bad grounding um where they grounded the wires off they just didn't get a good ground so you got to go in and and uh rub you know grind off the paint and get a better ground that's that's not the issue we're having with this car this car i don't think it really has an issue but what it does is when you are from a dead stop and accelerating uh, in first gear, it's a little jerky at first. And I did a little bit of research on this and they say what you can do um, is do what's called scrubbing the clutch. I'm not really sure what that is, but what they say is take a scan tool, reset the adaptive learning feature, and then get out on a road and floor it and go through all the gears three or four times and that scrubs the clutch and resets the adaptive learning. And if you have, if you had any jerkiness in your shifting, um, that's supposed to take care of it. So we're gonna try that. It's not real bad, but it's kind of annoying at times. And again, I think it's kind of a normal thing since it is automated manual transmission, but we're gonna give it a shot and uh, see what happens. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the airbag light and see what it says about that. All right, I'm going to use my trusty launch reader here. Diagnose. Do, 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 do. System scan. So we're going to scan the whole system here. All right, so we actually have a error code for the radio. It says communication error with the radio. We'll mess with that later. It sounds like maybe the radio is actually bad. Let me go ahead and start the car. I don't want to kill the battery while we're out here. I said I had a low battery. This is my, here it is. Restraint control module. Let's see what the airbag is. Left front airbag sensor. Continuous memory, left frontal airbag sensor. You know what I do know based upon the Carfax, this had a 
front left, was it this car? Yeah, that was this car. Front left uh, accident or collision. It was minor, but I bet you that sensor is no good. Received serial data invalid. Warning lamp on, fault in his current front. Okay. All right, I bet that's what it is. Either I bet it's either unhooked or it's probably just a bad sensor. They didn't replace it. It was damaged in an accident. So we need to get a new sensor, most likely. Let's go ahead and go to the transmission control module and do what we came here to do. There it is, right there. Let's enter the transmission control module. Actually, I'm we. Ah, stop it. I am going to go, I'm gonna move the car. I'm gonna to go to the road that we are going to uh, do our little test on. All right, so I'm to the location that we're gonna to use to uh, do this little test here. And choose one of the following. All right, ensure it's in the park position. Gear selector is in the park. Okay, depress the brake and hold. Uh, yep. Sweet. All right, so I finally got it to uh, reset the adaptive learning, as far as I know. Let's go ahead and get on the road here and do our little test. And we gotta make sure there's no traffic. Nice thing about a good old paved country road. Let's get out on here. And I'm gonna stop. And here we go. It's not happy. <laughs> I didn't put a little bit much to it. All right, now we gotta turn around, do it again a couple times. Yeah, I thought I saw a car. Come on, guys. Yeah, we broke traction last time, so this time we're gonna make sure we get traction before we do it. All right, here we go. Yeah, now we're cooking. better each time. Alright, anyone coming? All looks clear. Alright, and here we go. If anyone watch me go up and down the road, they're probably wondering, what the heck? All right, so I'm turning around again. All right. Do it again, do it again. Got okay, no traffic. Perfect. Stop. And go.
I think we'll do it two more times and call it good. All right, so we made it back to the garage, and uh, so far I think it did kind of help scrubbing the clutch. Uh, still a little jerky here and there. But th again, I think that's normal for these transmissions. Uh, but we'll see over the next couple days. Uh, a couple of things I'll show you we need to address is we have a little chip in the window or the windshield. And we're missing the rocker trim piece down there. So tomorrow we'll head to the salvage yard and see what we can find. Hopefully get um, what we need for this car. And as well as another car that's going to be coming here uh, to the garage probably this coming weekend. So we'll see. Uh, but until then, thanks for tuning in to Casey's Garage. And we'll catch you next time.